happy day. Welcome to Endurance Room. Hope everybody's doing good. We are up at our garden, just kind of making sure that everything's hydrated. Catherine just said she's planting some beans and squash and sunflower in between some corn that didn't pop up. I think chipmunks might have got to it. They were scurrying out of here when we came in. Thanks for checking out the backpack video the other day. Right after I finished filming it, I was looking at it. The white canvas that I'd used on the exterior pocket was kind of bugging me. And right after I got done filming, I walked by an old campfire, grabbed a piece of charcoal and darkened it up. I'm actually thinking about doing that on some of the exterior of the longhouse. We've got some white canvas on the south facing wall. It lets a lot of light in, but it's really, you know, reflective and bright and kind of stands out. So I'm thinking some charcoal might be the way to go. It worked really well in the pack. So in yesterday's video, I also pulled out a camouflage palaka that I just picked up. And a couple of the guys were going back and forth in the comments trying to figure out what it was. The store owner told me that it was German. I was thinking that it was East German, but it didn't match up to anything that I had seen or any of you guys had seen. So um, somebody had mentioned Czechoslovakia, and it turns out that's where it's from. It's post-World War II Czechoslovakian uh, poncho shelter half that is loosely based on the old German Sumpfmuster camouflage I believe I believe that's what it's called S U M P F U S T R it's designed as a marsh camo or a wetland camo I couldn't find a whole lot of info on it other than they started using it in Czechoslovakia in like 1948 uh, through the 50s and here we have it all laid out it's roughly six by six I haven't put it side by side with the Russian plot as yet but I think they would made up. I'll test it out soon. You can see the lines throughout the pattern. I thought it was East German based camouflage pattern. It's very reminiscent of the strict tarn camouflage pattern, the raindrop. It's really basic, subtle, but effective camo. So this poncho shelter half has got leather grommets. Rather than having buttonholes, it's got these canvas loops that the wooden toggles fit through. So you use these just like the Russian ponchos, but instead of a buttonhole, you've got these canvas loops. There's a single armhole for the right arm and a hood at the top. The drawstring was busted on this. It was torn in the middle. I had to reroute it and sew it in place. And then the cord for cinching up the hood was gone. So I used a piece of paracord and ran that through. The fabric is it's a good deal lighter than the canvas on the Russian ponchos, but it's also noisier. The Russian polakas are way quieter. This is a little bit noisier, but it's lighter and it makes it better for tramping around in the summer. Let's throw the poncho on and take a look at it in the woods and see how effective it is. Visibility cloak. That was about that was about 25 yards at the top of the hill there. Pretty cool camo. It's summer, it's really green, and for a red dominant camo pattern, that's pretty effective. I'm happy with it. My main intent for using it besides a poncho or shelter half is a hunting garment camouflage. So pretty sweet. If you're interested in picking one up, I saw a couple on eBay this morning. Uh, 
they're about a hundred bucks, a little pricey, but if that's something you're into, there's a couple out there. So real quick before you guys go, I would just want to recommend you guys check out Good Lion Films. They've been making some really awesome documentaries and having some really cool guests on their podcast. They've been doing a lot of podcasts almost daily, just talking about a lot of the topics at hand that are currently challenging the world. And one of their guests is a man named Bob Wiegand. Bob is an ex-Navy SEAL. He's had a very interesting life and see what he, this man has to say. He just put out a book called The Light in the Darkness and you can find it online. I ordered the paperback and after reading the the intro and the first chapter, I just I just uh, picked up the ebook and I've been powering through it all morning. It's it's amazing. Really blessed that there's good people out there willing to come forward and talk about this stuff because it's gone on for a long time and it's time for a change. With that. And wish you guys an awesome day. Hope you're doing great. And I'll talk to you soon. Cheers. Wish you.